Gucci sandals on the way I'm sliding up I won't join no gang cause I speak truth and I ain't slime enough I can't kill my brothers, we the same, it's just not adding up Esau he a killer, Gino side he keeps attracting us Most I say be fruitful, multiply so we be adding up Compare his seed to the sand of the sea, we deep so you can't add us up My people they got hate inside they heart, they wanna paint us up Grew up in the red zone, blood tears, I see red flags on us This world be killing me with lies the way they capping on me Like these publicans, they coons and seeing the way they taxing on me Prove what you say, the evidence, show me the facts, little homie Don't hold your tongue, just bring it out, what's on your mind, little brody? Riding on 4G autos, bougie, how we sit, Moscato huh. Feast days of the Lord, champagne, be rainy, poncho huh. Salvation of the Lord's people, come on, we need that pronto huh. Wisdom, yes, it bring riches, like we just won a lotto Keep these huh. commandments in the faith, my brother, that's the motto huh. Most how humble you quick, boy, if you think you macho Israel, we poor, but we rich as right, We the Hebrew Israelites, and we come in week in and week out To let you black, Hispanics, and Native Americans know That y'all are the Hebrew Israelites according to the Bible Did you know that, sister? Do you care about the Bible at all? See that? She kind of smacked her hand at me, right? Switch with the brother. I need you to read for me. I'll praise the most high, right? Give me the book of uh, Psalms 22 and 23, my But the brother's got a pocket for the book. I'll praise you the most high. Right? And we out here to let y'all know that we the Hebrew Israelites in America has a downfall that's coming. It has destruction that's coming to it. Right? But bring this up. The book of Psalms, chapter 22 and verse 23. I know. Ye that fear the Lord, praise him. Do what? Ye that fear the Lord, praise him. Hey, and if you fear the Lord, you're going to praise him. Right? And that's one of the reasons we in this truth. To praise the Lord. Right? Bring it up. Or ye the seed of Jacob. Glorify him and fear him, all ye the seed of Israel. For he hath not despised nor abhorred the affliction of the afflicted. Right, so, the, hey, we got to glorify the Lord in this truth. All the seed of Jacob, right? And that's all you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that's out here not praising the Lord. Praising uh, Christmas, right? White Jesus. Right? And y'all know what color Christ is according to the Bible? What color is Christ according to the Bible? See that? What did you just say, Arab? Damn, white woman don't know what's going on. Right. At all! Right, bring this out, King. In the book of Matthew, chapter 5 and verse 16, right. let your light shine. So I can. Let your light shine so bright before men that they may see your good works. And glorify your father. Do what? And glorify your father. Right, and that's why we got to keep the commandments. We keeping the commandments to glorify the Lord. Right? Then they say, hey, let this be our wisdom in the sight of the nations. So that when they see us, they, they say we got much wisdom. Right? Roughly paraphrasing, right? But we, hey, this truth is about glorifying the Lord. Right? Bring this out. Okay? Sarah right, chapter 43 and verse 30. Sirach chapter 43 and verse 30. Bring ye glorify the Lord. Exalt him as much as he can. Do what? Exalt him as much as he can. That's what we up here doing. We exalting the name of Yahweh Ba Shimu Mashiach Bama Laki Yahusha. In front of the heathen. Let all you damn white people know, so-called white people, that y'all going to slavery. And that's exalting the Lord right there. Because the Lord is going to come back and put us over y'all to put y'all in slavery. Right? And y'all got to deal with it. And you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans got to know that y'all are the Israelites, right? Y'all God's chosen people, right? And y'all, I want y'all to come exalt him with me, right? Bring it up. For even yet will he... What's y'all deal? Damn he. For even yet will he far exceed. And when ye exalt him, put forth all your strength. Right? You got to put forth all your strength, right? The Lord gonna put forth all his strength when he come back and save us. The Lord put forth all his strength when he woke us up to the knowledge of his truth, right? So it's time to praise the Lord, right? right. Not y'all heathen, right? Y'all gotta go to slavery, right. right? For what y'all did to my people, right? So no more shaking your head and walking by. Hey, that's for us. God is for us. Right, bring this out, gang. In the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 6, and 
verse 15. Verse 19. Salaki. What? Know ye not that your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of Yahweh, and ye are not your own. Right, and we're not our own. Right? We are Yahweh's. We belong to him. Right. He put the spirit in us. Right? The spirit is over us right now to come out here and teach our people. Right? That's why hey, that's why uh, Hebrew Israelites can't get confounded. Right? Because the most high is over here, man. Right? Can't no Christian come up and tell us that we will. And don't look this way, boy. Right? Bring it up. Verse 20. For ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify Yahweh. Do what? Glorify Yahweh. Do what? That's what we out here to do. We out here to glorify your house. Right. Right? We not out here glorifying Christmas, glorifying the damn uh all the pagan holidays of America. Uh -huh. We're not glorifying um Baal or white Jesus, right? Buddha. We not up here saying, yeah, you know, we Buddhists, we trying to come and push forth that message. No, we're glorifying your house. Right. right. And that we the Hebrew Israelites. Right? And that's all gotta repent. And that's all gotta serve the Lord with all your heart and with all your soul, with all your might. Right? I bring it up. Glorify God in your body and in your spirit. And in your what? And in your spirit. Glorify Him. That's how you're keeping the commandments. Right? That's the only way to be spiritual. We're not glorifying no rocks, putting that before the Lord. We're not saying, uh, I don't even want to say the damn devil name, Allah. Right? We're not glorifying that. Hey, death to Allah, man. Death to all false gods. Right? Hey, death to America. We're not glorifying America. We're not glorifying none of these nations. Right? We glorify Yahweh by Shemu Mashiach, Woman like Yahweh Shah. Right? Bring this out. Isaiah 58 and 1. Isaiah chapter 58 and verse 1. Cry out loud. Do what? Cry out loud. What we got to do? Cry out loud. Out here crying aloud, doing what? Spare not. Look at their voice like a trumpet. Right, and this is another reason we in this truth. We in this truth to cry aloud to our people and spare not. Not lie to them, right? Tell them what it is and do what? And show my people their transgressions and the house of Jacob their sins. So we out here to show our people their sins and their transgressions. We out here to tell them we had a lower state because we don't want to keep the commandments. Did you know that, King? Did you know that, brother? I need some policing, brother. See that? Even our people that's of the police force don't want to help us out. Don't want to come police for me. You understand? Kind of help me out. You know? What if I was really in trouble? He kind of walked by. He kind of reminded me of the, uh, the Jake that was a, uh, don't be a menace. I hate my black gun. Because <laughs> they black. Yeah, that's all. See that? Right, bring this out, King. So we out here to tell our people their transgressions. And you got Jake out here being Cornelius, right? Walking down, up and down the street in a police outfit. Hey, what that's gonna bring? How is that glorifying the Lord? How is that uh, waking up our people? Yeah, I'm in, I'm in my police outfit. I got my badge. Kind of show the badge to you. Hey, brother, I don't give a damn about that, right? And all you so-called white people have to go to slavery. That's right. And all you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans have to wake up to your true selves. Right? right? Y'all have to come back to your heritage. Y'all don't even know your heritage. I'm black. I'm a black man. I eat chicken. Right? Bring this up. Hey, King, you remember you're an Israelite, right, brother? Don't forget that, all right, brother? All right, bring it out, brother. I'm so sorry. I told, I already told him. My brother know. He all right, man. All right, brother. I know you're in the rush, brother. Do your thing. You got to repent, King. All right, bring it up. In the book of Cyrus, chapter 33 and verse 17, consider that I have labored not for myself only. Hey, we're not only out here laboring for ourselves, right? Of course, we labor for the most high, but who else, who else are we laboring for? But for all them that seek learning. Right, but for all them that seek learning. Right. We out here for those that seeking that seek in the Lord. Yahweh about Shimon Mashiach woman like Yahweh Shah. Not Yahweh, not Yahuwah. Right? Not Allah. We not out, out here for them. Nope. Right? We out here for those that seeking to learn the truth of the Bible. Seeking to learn the truth of the Most High God. The real God. And y'all believe in the Bible? Well, the Bible not for y'all. If y'all so-called white people, the Bible is not for you. And the Bible is for the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right? Nobody else. Right? Y'all need to kind of give us your Bibles. 
Right, keep the NRVs and NLTs. Y'all can have them. But bring us all y'all KJVs, right? And so we can give them out to the sheep. Right? Let's go on that precept here. Uh, that's it on that. In the second Ezra chapter 1, verse 5, I'm sure. Chapter 1 and verse 5. Go thy way. It's true, my people. This simple deed. So, my what? It's true, my people. This simple deed. That's what we out here doing. Hey, sister. Sister with the red on. You know your nationality? Hey, sister. See that? The mama don't. Hey, we got the Bible up here, sister. We're just trying to teach our sister the Bible. If we was white men up here, kind of, you know, selling something, would you come up? In some suits? And our people don't respect us, man. Right? And, we, and they don't even know we the men of the Lord. Right, bring it out one more time from the top. Look at 2nd Esther, chapter 1, and verse 5. Bring it out. Go thy way, and sue my people. No, all people. And sue my people. No, everybody in the world. And sue my people. The Lord says, sue his people. Right, bring it out. This sinful deed. Hey, brother, you know what sin is, brother? Come here, brother. But bring it up. And their children, their wickedness. We out here to show the children of the Israelites their wickedness. Right? Hey, brother. Come here, brother. And the peanut butter, brother. Come here, brother. Yes, brother, real quick. I got a question. And they just cut it. I got a quick question. Can I ask you a quick question? Oh, what about you, sister? What about you, brother? Brother, one fish. Right? I need one fish. All right, bring it up. Which they have done against me. Which they have done against the Lord. Y'all not doing that against us. Right? We just the messengers. We just out here to tell y'all what the Lord told us. You understand? To tell y'all that the Lord said y'all got to repent. That a judgment is coming. Right? The heathen judgment is already set. That's going to happen. Right? But we trying to save our, our people. The only people that can get saved. Salvation is for the Israelites. That's what we trying to tell y'all. That y'all got to come back to the Lord. Right? It's okay. Go, go ahead. What's your nationality? You, what's your race? You a white girl? All right, well, you know, we're not dealing with your people. We're not dealing with your kind. God is not dealing with your kind. Did you know that? Well, say it again. Say sorry again. Say it one more time for me. Say sorry again. I'm not answering She said it three times. She said, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I bring it out, gay. That they may tell their children's children because the sins of their fathers are increased in them. And our sins have increased in us. Right? The sins of our fathers increased in us. Right? That's why today is so wicked. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You understand? Right? There's so many, there's so many, uh, so much wickedness in the earth today. Right? There's so much going on. Right? <laughs> but there's so much wickedness in the earth today. Right? And our people just doing way worse than they used to be. Right? Like you, brother, you ain't got a minute for God, brother. Right, bring it up. God. For they have forgotten me. What? For they have forgotten me. What we do? For they have forgotten me. We forgot the Lord. We don't know the Lord's name. We think he's God. His name is God. Right? We think his name is Allah. Yahweh. Yahuwah. You know? We don't even know the name of the God. We've forgotten the Lord. Right? And that's all because of your people. Why did your people put us in slavery? Y'all have an answer? Yeah, she mad. Red face devil. Blue eyed boobs. Right? Y'all don't have an answer to why y'all put us in slavery. Do y'all know? You see that? And they to re read that one more time. And they have what? And they have forgotten me. We've forgotten the Lord. We don't even know the Lord's name no more. We don't know how the Lord's coming. We think the Lord is coming back with, with lilies and lollipops and, and candy canes. And he coming back to sit crisscross applesauce with us. Right? Coming to sit crisscross applesauce with us. Coming back with the, um, with the, uh, the Lord, man, stuff. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you blow, 
And the, you know, the pinwheels. Hey, the Lord not coming back with pinwheels. <laughs> and that's how y'all painted our Lord. As a white, blue-eyed devil. <laughs> right? See, and look at this. A baby that's going to be danced against the stones. See that? See that? And a damn heathen. It's a heathen fest down here. A damn heathen fest. Hey, brother, you got a minute, brother, for the Bible? A minute for God. All praises to the Lord. You come up closer, please. Now, if I asked you what's your nationality, what would you say? You don't know, right? Bring it out one more time, and they have one. Bring it out from the top. Second Ezra, chapter one, verse six. Because the sins of their brothers are increased to them, for they have forgotten me. They have what? For they have forgotten me. Man, we have forgotten the Lord. You know, the Lord gave us um, understanding and a heritage. You understand that? He gave us, he said he was a God over us. And we don't even know the name of the Lord. You understand that? Right, so now we gotta figure out who he is according to the Bible. Give me Joel chapter three and verse six. Right, the Bible was written to the Israelites. You know that, King? Now, the Israelites was told if they don't keep the commandments, right, then they would have punished. They would get punished. I'm about to show you one of the punishments that the Lord said was going to happen to the Israelites if they don't keep the commandments. You understand that, brother? All right, bring this up. Joel, chapter 3, verse 6. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have been sold unto the Greeks. It said the Israelites were sold to the Greeks, the white people. You understand that? Who was sold to the white people in the earth today? Our people. So who is God speaking to? He said us. It got to be us. We the only people that fit everything that he's talking about in the Bible. Give me Deuteronomy 28, 54. Give me the book of Lamentations chapter 1 and 2. I think I want this first. You gotta hear this thing, because hey, you just learned your nationality and listen, that probably was only a minute, bro. You feel me? You know who you is now. You an Israelite according to the Bible. Right? Bring this up. Book of Lamentations, chapter 1 and verse 3. Judah is gone into captivity. It's gone into what? Captivity. Captivity. They say the real Jews have gone into captivity. Where was the Jewish people in captivity? Where was that, brother? It was kind of, they had chains on their neck, right? They were picking cotton, right? They was in slavery. When, when did that happen, brother? You don't know. I don't, do you know, brother? Brother don't know. What about you, brother? You know when the Jewish people went to slavery? That ain't in history. We don't know that, brother. Right? It's more on that. Continuing on. Because of affliction and because of great servitude, she dwelleth among the heathen. She dwell among the heathen. Right? Our, when we uh, go outside, don't you see all these other races around us? Like, do you just see all your people all the time? No, we go to the store, we might sit down, Chinese man, East Indian man, we can go to seven and that's because we dwell in the one in Egypt. The Lord put us in this lower state and put all these other nations that's lower than us above us. Don't we do everything better than everybody else can? And why the hell is we at the bottom? Why aren't we ruling the earth right now? It's because the Lord told us if we don't keep the commandments, we going to punish us. If you don't listen to your father, he's gonna he gonna whip you. You understand that? For uh, terms that you can understand. You understand? This is another curse. All right, bring this up. This get deep right here. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 54. Well, so that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, right? The man that's cool to that point in time. His eye shall be evil toward his brother. Now he got an evil eye toward his own brother. Who got evil eyes toward their own brother? I'm gonna step on his shoe. We're gonna fight. Right? Some of you wanna kill. Right? I had a uh, teacher in school tell me a story. He said his man looked at somebody more on the street. And he just the guy turned around and shot him in the head. See that? He, you think they was Chinese people? Both of them was Chinese people. No, you think it was two two white people. No, it was our people. Right? You got black on black crime, GDPD, right? Bloods and crips. Right, bring this up. Let's see, it get deeper in there. And toward the wife of his bosom. And he, he got an evil eye toward his wife. Right? Nice. Domestic violence, or the, uh, if you look at the statistics, right, who got the highest domestic violence in the world? What do you think about it? It's our people, right? Who was the Bible speaking about? If 
put it all its fingers. It gotta be who? Us. Why bring it up? And to the remnant of his children, which he shall eat. Richie shall eat. Oh, right. Richie shall eat. He said he's gonna leave his kids. Who knows for leaving his kids? Our people. Right. But this is talking about the Israelites. They didn't say, yeah, the black people don't. No, we said the Israelites do. You understand that? So, what that make you? What's your nationality? You an Israelite, King. Right. You, you can't forget that. Come right. learning, King. Right, but you got something you want to show you with you. Right here with it. Hold on, this book that I got. And uh, most of these books right now, they're trying to take them off the library because they don't want you to know who you are. And you know that my word, put it in the book, what's the rest of it? If you want to hide anything, you got to do what? Hide it from the king he ain't going to read. You got to put it in the book. Right, bring it up. This is in one of those books. And the name of this book is called Light and Truth, The Bible in Ancient Modern History. This book, it came out in 1944. Four years before the 1948 Declaration of, uh, what is it? Declaration of uh, uh, for, yeah, the Big Man Declaration. The Balfour Declaration, basically. The this is what it says in this book. It says, it's in page, go to a, uh, to a, to a, Alright, it's right here. Watch this. It says, I was just here. Okay, so I, okay, here it go. It says, Thus Bishop Matthews claims an immoral Jewish ancestry. But since that ancestry is Negro, it follows that Negroes were the original Jew. Or the what? Were the original Jew. That Negroes were the original Jew. This is a this is a development from Bishop Matthew's congregation. It is received no help from white Jews. Yeah, no help from white Jews. It observes that the white Jewish papers call them fakers. Call them what? Call them fakers. Those, uh, small head mafia. Call them fakers. The, the fake Jews over there, right there in Israel right now with the little hats on, the little fake curls that they call them. Hey, he said them fakers. Right. It gets even better than brothers. Every black man is a real Hebrew. Is a what? Is a real Hebrew. Hebrew. Brother, this is a history book. I didn't just bring this out, you know, I kind of made it up last night. We ain't pulling this out of behind. He said, hey, every black man is a what? Is a real Hebrew, whether he knows it or not. Whether you know it or not. Hey, you not black, brother. Are you, is your skin color, what about y'all sisters? Y'all skin color black? You brown, so how you black? How's you an African American? That's Leo Scipio Africanus in America, best teacher. Two white people. That don't make no sense for us to be calling ourselves that. But that, go to Deuteronomy 28, 68. God said these curses don't happen to our people for a reason, because we don't listen. Now we call ourselves black. Now we call ourselves Negro. Right, bring this out, King. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 68. I need y'all sisters to hear this too, all right? Well, bring it up. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Now this is the Lord speaking to the Israelites. The real Jews. He's going to bring y'all back into Egypt again. Now we got to see what Egypt is. Go to Revelation chapter 11, verse 8. Give me the book of Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. Give me Judah chapter 5, verse 11. Bring it up. All right, bring it up. The book of Exodus chapter 20, and verse 2. I'm the Lord that God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Out of the house of bondage. Out of what? Out of the house of bondage. What does Egypt mean? Out of the house of bondage. Out of the house of bondage. Egypt means the house of bondage. What is America known for? Slavery. Slavery. We came here on what? Cargo slave ships. Right? That actually happened. But God said that's going to happen to a specific group of people. Right? Let's read it one more time. Go to Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Bring it up. Bring this up. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 68. Bring it up. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Into what? Into Egypt again. What the Lord say? Into Egypt again. I'm going to bring y'all back into slavery again if y'all don't keep my commandments. But this time we'll what? 
In the book of Cyrus, chapter 23 and verse 24, she, she shall be brought out. The book of Cyrus, chapter 24 and verse 23. All these things are the book of the covenant of the Most High God. Because we made a covenant with the Lord. No other nation made a covenant with, with the Most High God. Contrary to popular belief, God is not for everybody else. God. He's for us. Right. right? And we made a covenant for him. And we broke it. That's why we went to slavery. God. Right, bring it up. Even the law which Moses commanded for inheritance. For a what? For, for inheritance. For inheritance unto who? Unto the congregation of Jacob. Of Eve. Of Jacob. Of the white man. Of Jacob. Saying he commanded these to the congregation of Jacob. He gave that to us. We the congregation of Jacob. Right? Jacob's name was turned to Israel. And we're his descendants. The Israelites. Sons of Israel. You understand that? Children of Israel. You understand that, brother? And this is our heritage. That's why when we came over here to, uh, after slavery, right, we was practicing so-called Judaism. You understand that? Then we got folly going on over there, too. I, I really want to get on it. I'm going to wait, though. Right, Chapter 4, verse 1. Look it out. This is the book of the commandments of God. Right? 
and the law that endured forever. And the law that endured forever. So we had to understand that this law endures forever. The only reason we had a lower state is because we don't keep the law. And the covenant of the Most High God was made between us to either keep the laws and be blessed or, or forsake the laws and be cursed. You understand that, brother? So we got to learn what the law of statutes and commandments is now. You know any law of statutes and commandments? Well, let's learn something. What is Deuteronomy 14 and 8? Do y'all know some commandments? Y'all want to come up and look? You got them? You can? Yeah, but you got to finish it. Nah, uh, I buy. Anybody got a pencil? So, uh, yeah. Here's the video on the 14th of May. And I'm proud of students. They don't dare come over this way. They won't dare come over this way. They smart. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 14, and verse 7. And it reads as it is written. Oh, verse 8, as it is written. This is a commandment. Can you find it over it? The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 14, and verse 8, and it reads, no. No. And the swine, and the what? And the swine. And the swine, now you know what swine is? What's the swine? The swine, not swine, swine. As the that is pork, that pig. Right, bring it up. And the swine, because it divides the hook, yet took not the cut. Pigs don't probably digest their food. Who do pigs eat, brother? You know? Anything. So if we kings on this earth, why would we put a big old slop of anything on our place? That makes sense. Pigs eat boo boo. Pigs eat uh, another, uh, I mean, not, they don't even eat another pig. They eat everything but another pig. When they die, the maggots eat their body up. Yeah. They said maggots eat their body up. I bring it up. Because it took not the cut, it is unclean unto you. Ye shall not eat of their flesh. We can double with it a little bit. Ye shall not eat their flesh. I just want a little bacon tonight, though. Ye shall not eat of their flesh. The Lord said, do not eat pork. You understand that, brother? Where do you think them Arabs get that from? That's halal. That's halal. No, brother. Hey, the Lord said that's a sin. You understand that? It comes from the Bible. Right? And in the Bible, it's a sin to eat pork. It's a sin for kings to commit abomination. God. You understand that, brother? Happy birthday! Wow. Homosexuality? So no pork, all right, brother? All presents to the most high. That's, that means you keep it in commitment. So the sister asked, what do, you know, what do the Bible say about homosexuality? You know, give me Romans chapter 1. I'm about to say. 25. Chapter 18 and verse 22. And it reads. Bring it up. In the book of um, Leviticus, chapter 18, verse 22. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is abomination. It is what? It, it is, is abomination. abomination. No, it's okay to... It is abomination. It is abomination. So that's what God says about homosexuality. Girl on girl, man on man. It's abomination. Right? How can how can a man reproduce with a man? Is that possible? What about a woman and a woman? Two eggs and then two two them uh, seeds. That's funny. What do you kind of try to take the apple seed and put it inside the, uh, another apple seed? Is that is it gonna grow? What if you take the dirt and put it in the dirt? That don't make sense. That's exactly what it is. Right, bring this up. Romans chapter one, verse twenty-five. You know. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? And that's what the so-called white man did. He changed the truth of God into a lie. Right? He said, you can do whatever the hell you want in America. Right? That's why everybody loves America so much. The land of the free. Right? It's really the land of the freaks and home of the slaves. You understand that? Brother Contra got the right, you know, got the phrases. Right? But hey, they did that, they changed uh Yahweh Shai, who the world called Jesus, into a white man. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm gonna I'm show you that. Let me answer uh, her question real quick, right? They, 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 they changed him into a white man, right? They say, yeah, you can do whatever you want. You can be uh, sleep with whoever you want, right? This was the first country to legalize gay marriage. Yep. Hey, that's a gay marriage, man. That's right. a gay we're, not, we're not dealing with that. The Bible does not deal with that, ah. right? And if you want to kind of come up and say, well, God, no, hey, God not dealing with that. He said he hates it. The Lord said he hates iniquity, right? Bring it up. And worship and serve the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. And when you're doing your own thing, that's you serving the creature more than the creator, right? You're not serving the most high God if you're doing everything he say not to do. You understand that, brother? If you got a big fat plate of pork on your plate tonight, hey, that's you hate God. You're not doing. You're not serving God. If you want to go, and see, all praise the Most High. Y'all Israelites, all right, sisters. Okay. All right, bring it up. You can be on that. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affection. Right, and that's a vile affection. Right, bring it up. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Right, and that's against nature. They're changing their natural use, right? And that, that's being, you know, so-called uh, lesbians. I'm about to say homo, but that's, you know, they got different terms now. They got the LGBT, right? They got all those, you know. We can say, hold back, <laughs> bring it up. And like, likewise, likewise, also, the men leaving the natural use of the women burn in their lust. Burn in what? Burn in their lust, one toward another. One toward another. They just that's just heavy lust that's on on our people. Too much desire. I was doing trying to do their desire. Then the Lord say abstain from thy lust. All right. Refrain from thy appetites. That's what He said. So y'all can't do that. You know, I don't know about you, brother. All praise the Most High. Is that for you, sister? Right. You know you got to repeat now, though, right? Oh, you not, you never, all oh, praise the most high. I just wanted to know why you asked that question. Exactly. You know, I was just asking. Well, let me ask you, let me ask your question, answer your question. Oh, you got another question? He had one real quick. What was yours? I, I'm, uh, Satan stole our memory. 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 Kind of dwelling amongst you can you can kind of work you know he hates workers of iniquity we hate when our people work iniquity as well and the Lord don't want you unequally yoked to those people. You understand that? Give me that question with you, so to say. I'm, uh, I'm still I'm gonna deal with that still and I, I got you. Kid. Give me Revelation one fourteen. No, you just got something. First for the six and one. Verse 14. Verse 14. Right. And God hath both raised up the Lord 
and will also raise up us by his power, by his own power. Hey! <laughs> That's not what I want. Y'all get the gist though. The Lord said, hey, these effeminate men, no, you fool. These effeminate men not gonna make it into the kingdom of heaven. Right? You can be hanging around those people, and, and now you got all them different spirits on you. Now you kind of trying to get, uh, dwell in homosexuality and by, that's, by Twitter, <laughs> being bisexual. Right? And that's funny. I bring this up. All right, sister. All praise the Most High. The Father to the Fathers. Right? Bring it out here. Um, Revelation 1 and 14, you got it. Okay. Now, no question, King. Right there. In the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14, his head and his hair were white like wool. Christ had a woolly hair. He had white woolly hair. Now, who got woolly hair on this earth today? Our people. So called nappy nigga hair, that's what they call it. Wow. Right? That's wow. what they call it. Hey, but this is the hair of Christ. You understand that? This is the best hair you can have. It's that good hair. You understand? Not that hair. The dog shrinking hair is not that good hair. You understand that? Now bring it up. As wet as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like as a fine brass. He had feet the color of brass. What color is brass, kid? Brown. Right? And let's see how brown he looked. As if they burned in a furnace! It looked like his feet burned in a furnace. You burn something in a furnace, what color is it going to be? It's going to be real dark. You feel me, game? The price was a dark skin. You don't believe in Christ, brother? You don't believe in Christ, brother? Well, brother, hell ain't, you know, hell not real. But it is a heaven. Hell is an estate that you're in. Right. In, in the book of Jonah, Jonah said he in the belly of hell. You understand that, King? And heaven is going to be on earth. Give me that in Acts chapter 1, verse 6. God! No. And it is the third heaven that the Most High is dwelling in. Right? Read this up. Acts chapter 1, and verse 6. Bring it up. When they therefore will come together, they ask him, ask of him, say, Lord, Wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? He said, at this time, Christ, will you restore the kingdom to Israel? Right? Kingdom of Israel. And that's what heaven is. Heaven is when we're back on top. Heaven is when we're reigning in the earth. You understand? But to get to heaven, to get that throne that you want to sit on forever, to get to reign over all these other nations in righteousness, you have to keep the commandments. Right? You have to come back to the Lord and repent. You understand that, brother? So we gotta we gotta learn more commandments. Right, bring your piece of up. And then to go into like hell. This is the question that the Sunday church is not gonna answer. When you read Revelation 20 and verse 14, it says this: Death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. Right now, if hell is the lake of fire, why is hell being cast into the lake of fire? That don't make sense. That don't make no sense. Because wow. fire is going to be on the earth and hell just means the grave. You understand? That's because we're not going to die anymore. You understand that? We're not going to go into the grave. We're going to be immortal in the kingdom of heaven. You understand that? That's what the Most High said. He said, he'll put it, spirit, give us spiritual bodies, right? And we're going to have the law in our inward parts. And we're going to live forever. And reign forever. No white man is going to kind of say, yeah, we're about to do a uh, rebellion. A rebellion and we're about to overthrow uh, their kingdom. Wow. It's not going to be like the fall of Rome. No. Wow. Or the fall of America. Ah. Kind of, uh, Esau got uh, nukes again. He said he about to blow up uh, our uh, kingdom. That's not going to happen, brother. You understand that? All right, bring this up. Now we got to learn some more commandments, though, so you can get the kingdom. Do you want the kingdom, brother? I can't hear you, brother. I can't. One more time, brother. Hey, the brother want the kingdom. Do you want the kingdom, sister? Hey, we, hey that's what we got to strive for. I'll right, bring this up. Oh, come. Leviticus 11 and 9. Go to the, um, the sea. Okay. Leviticus 11 and 9. These shall eat of all their other waters. Whatsoever happens, the scales of the waters 
the seas and rivers, them shall you eat. So the Lord told us in the rivers, in the waters, and in the seas, it has to have fins and scales for us to be able to eat. You understand that? So what's that, brother? So one more time, brother. That's fish, right? So what else? What doesn't have fins and scales that come out the water? Brother? Shrimp. What else? Lobster. Crab. Right. Can we eat shrimp, crab, and lobster? All right, bring it out one more time. Jump to the book, next verse. Verse 10. And all that have not fins and scales in the seas and the rivers, but all that move the waters, and if any living thing which is in the water, he said, if you don't got fins and scales, they shall be an abomination to you. He said, they shall be an abomination to them. They, they shall be eaten an abomination to you. Right? You should not eat their flesh. No, we can eat it. You should not eat their flesh. The Lord said, you shall not eat of their flesh. So we can't eat shrimp crab or lobster, brother. Understand that, King? Can we eat shrimp crab or lobster? Like, we can physically. Like, we can physically eat pork. Are we supposed to? Do y'all love God? Well, the, the Arabs do be eating damn shrimp and stuff. They do do that. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. They don't eat pork, but, you know, they got it wrong. They don't know what's going on. Right. It, it say if you if you about to die, you starving. It say you can pick up a, a ham sandwich and eat it. And wow! They say you can drink blood. Wow! When did the Lord say you can do that? Wow! And I, I thought I thought the Quran was recited from the Bible. They damn took the Bible and said, okay, I like this idea, but then they damn made up some stuff. Right. That's folly, bro. Right. Yep, that's what y'all do. Okay. Right, but if y'all know the Lord, y'all got to keep these commandments. That's true. Give me the book of First John, chapter 5. Right. Give me the book of First John, chapter 3, verse 5. Right, give me the Give me the book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and 16. Oh, well. Whoever can get it. You got your Bible? Oh. Uh, bring this up. Yeah, it's up. John chapter 5 verse 3. Right. For this is the love of God. Right. That we keep his commandments. That we do what? That, that we, we keep, keep his, his commandments. Right. If you love God, you're going to keep his commandments. It's not hard to not eat pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster. Just don't put it on your plate. Y'all go grocery shopping for yourself. Right? You don't go in there and somebody forcing you to buy some shrimp. Right? So don't buy, brother. Right? Bring this up. So that's how you love God. Y'all love God, right? So y'all got to do what? Y'all love God, right? I'm going to get out. Look at verse John. Chapter 3 and verse 4. Whosoever, 3 and 5, and ye know that he was manifested to take away our sins, in him is no sin. Whosoever abided in him, Sin of not. Sin of what? Sin of not. And if you abide in Christ, you, see, you don't sin. You understand? Know you don't just kind of, I'm going to go through my own. I don't get a bad hand. You don't do that. That's all. Wow. You understand that? Right, bring this up. Isaiah 1 16. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 16. You know? Why should make you clean? Put away the evil of your doings from before my eyes. Cease to do evil. Do what? Cease to do evil. The Lord says, cease to do evil. Y'all got one Bible person here? All right, come up real quick. Everybody come up. Everybody gather around the campfire. And they love God. Y'all love God? Give me 1 John 5 and 3 one more time. 1 John 5 and 3, you there? Yeah. The book of 1 John, chapter 5, and verse 3, and it reads that it is written. For this is the love of God. This is how you actually love God. Right? Bring it up. That we keep his commandments. That we do what? That, that we keep, keep his, his commandments. commandments. And his commandments are not grievous. His commandments are not hard to keep. You understand that? But if I was to ask y'all, what is your nationality right now? What would y'all say? I'm going I'm to say the book of and I'm going to you know, What's y'all race? Black. Black. Yep. Uh, that's, a, that's a color, right? So how is that a race? Can, can, somebody, be, can somebody give me the etymology of the word nation? Uh, That's what you grew up hearing, right? But 
I can grow up here all my life, five plus five equals 37. If I just come to the, I'm growing up. You're gonna believe it you know better. You're gonna believe it you know better. It. It is all you beliefs, are. it's all beliefs facts. No, not That's cool, man. Right, now give me the book of Deuteronomy 28, 29 and one. I'm gonna show y'all y'all real nationality. All right, give me Deuteronomy one and one. Deuteronomy 101, give me Deuteronomy 28, 15. Of course. You understand that? Alright. Bring it up. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1, verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Now, who is Moses speaking to right now? These be the words of what? Bring it up one more time. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. All who? All Israel. All Israel, right? Now let's see what pertains unto Israel, right? Because everything he's about to say to Israel only pertains to the nation of Israel. Can't no other nation kind of come and say, yeah, I feel that. They can't do that. All right, bring this up. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 15, right? But it shall come to pass. It's going to happen in the future, Israel. If thou will not hearken unto the words of the Lord thy God. Right, if y'all don't listen to God, right? Bring it up. To observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. If y'all Israelites do not listen to God, keep his law, statutes, and commandments, what's going to happen? That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Okay, these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now, go to verse 46. Because we can read these curses and identify who the Israelites are today. All right, bring it up. In the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. For a what? For a, a sign. sign. Now, if you turn around and look at Texas Day Brazil, a sign. A sign for Texas Day Brazil, you know that's Texas Day Brazil because of the sign. Understand that? So these curses are identifying marks to identify the vision. You understand that? Mark, bring it up. And for a wonder, make you think like, oh, that's happening to me. Maybe I'm going to right, bring it up. And upon thy sea forever. So in 2023, going on to 2024, we can read these curses and figure out who the Israelites are. So let's play a little game, right? We're going to ask who this fits. The Chinese man, the white man, or And whoever it fits, they the people of God. They the Israelites. You understand that, sister? Go to first, uh, start at 54. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 54. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother. Now who has evil eyes toward their own brothers? They own brothers. Are they own brothers, they own people. You understand that? They kind of walking outside, going, going uh, just to the stone, kind of step on a brother's shoe. What's gonna happen if a, if a brother step on another brother's shoe? What's gonna happen, sister? It's getting down. Right, is the Chinese man like that? No. No, what about the white man? No. No, it's just our people. So who does fit in our brain? Us. All right, bring it out. And toward the wife of his bosom. He got an equal eye toward his girl as well. Who got baby mama drum? Who going through that? Who got, who got the highest rate of domestic violence in their household? That's our people. It is sad, but the Lord said this is going to happen. He's going to put a spirit over our nation uh, to hate each other because we, we're not listening. Right, bring it up. And toward the remnant of his children. He got an evil one towards his kids, which he shall leave. Which he shall leave. He's going to stay away. Which he shall leave. Now, who stay? I mean, it's like you. Who is known for leaving their kids? They household. Our people. Our people. Our people. Baby daddy. Baby daddy. He's going to get the milk. And do he come back? Uh, absolutely not. Absolutely not. He, it's in the Bible. That's in the Bible, sister. He said that's going to happen to the Israelites. You understand that? Yeah. All right, who is that happening to? So who are we? The Israelites. Now, let me get one more curse. Go to 68. Now, how do we get to, How do we get rid of this? That last one was 2854. This one is Deuteronomy 2868. Right? <laughs> Now, how do we get here to America? And she got another out there. How do we get to America? On what? 
school to the street. Right? Now let's read this curse that said was, that was gonna happen to the Israelites. Give me the book of uh, Revelation 11 and 8. I'm sorry. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Yeah, he's gonna bring us into Egypt again. Now y'all know the story of Moses? No. Y'all know about Moses, what Moses did? Well, Moses told Pharaoh, let my people go. Why did he have to tell Pharaoh to let the Israelites go? Right? So, free from what? Well, they, they were actually dark-skinned people, right? But he told them. Another dark skinned race of people, because we wasn't the same race. He said, Let my people go because you got a slave. The Lord said, Hey, let them go. You understand that? Now, give me this real quick. Revelation 11 and 8. Book of Revelation. Train this out. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 5, verse 6. I am the Lord thy God. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 5 and verse 6, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Brought the Israelites out of the land of Egypt. What does Egypt mean? From the house of bondage. From the house of bondage. Because Egypt just means captivity. Bondage. It goes back to the Hebrew word Batazani. Now, if you was in Mississippi and came back to Detroit, and somebody said, you got, you got robbed in Mississippi, you came back to Detroit, they said, yeah, I'm about to give you that Mississippi. You'd be like, damn, I'm about to be robbing you. You know what I mean? So they was enslaved, they were slaves in Egypt. They said, yeah, y'all gonna go back to that Egypt. I don't wanna go back to slavery. That's, that's the only thing they did. You understand that? Now let's see how we got to slavery. Well, sister, you already understand. You know who you are, though. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. That's good. You know, you are. I wish I could show you a lot of you You can stay on it, sister. We can show you a lot. Now, we, we, we got. The brothers got flyers at all? No flyers? Well, we got a YouTube. No. We got a YouTube channel, right? We go on there and teach them. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hear this. Okay, yeah, come. Yeah. So, brother, why should I get the In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. To slavery again, but this time with what? With ships. Ships. Y'all gonna go to slavery. As a, as a curse. By the way whereof I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. I'll never gonna see our homeland again. And and there ye shall be sold unto your enemy. Got out the slave ships. We sold to the so-called white man, right? Bring it up. For bond men. Slave men. And bond women, slave women, and no man shall buy. Nobody redeemed us out of captivity. It's still here in 2023. Nobody came and put a big lump sum of money and said, "Yeah, I want to be free." So that that happens to us. But God didn't call us Black, Negro, African Americans. He called us Israelites. We are His chosen people. And we this only happened to us because we did not keep the commandments. So we have to keep the commandments now and come back to our heritage. That's our whole message. We're out here to tell our people to keep the commandments. Go to Isaiah 58 and 1. Thank you. Go to Isaiah 58 and 1 before they leave. Go to Isaiah 58 and 1 before they leave. Go to Isaiah 58 and 1. Go to Isaiah chapter 58 and verse 1. And it reads. Bring it out. Cry aloud. Who what? Cry aloud. Spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And show my people their transgression. In the house of Jacob, their sin. That's what we out here doing. Showing our people their sins and their transgressions. Right? That was our message, sister. Yep. Right, give me James 5 and 19. Give me the book of uh, Revelation 7 and 1 about the shot. Look at James. Five and verse 19. 
Hey, you might see a damn laser come from the sky and, and, and blam down east on hell. Right? And we believe that because we fear the Lord. And we fear his word and we, we uh, believe in his word. We got faith in his word. Right? We believe it's true. Right, bring it up. Hey, go. Right, jump down to 17. Verse 17. The righteous cry. The what? The righteous cry. Right, bring it up. And the Lord hear it. And deliver them out of all their troubles. And the Lord is going to deliver us out of all our troubles if we are righteous. Right? Is the Lord hearing the wicked cry? Uh -huh. The wicked kind of Lord, oh Lord, say, oh Lord, what are you doing? Lord, oh! You're not keeping no commandment. You don't give a damn about the Bible. Nope. Right? You, you the brother that got the Bible in the ship. And it's, it's collecting dust. Right. And the Lord not doing it. Oh. And y'all believe in the Bible? Absolutely. God going to kill you. All right, bring this up. Absolutely. Absolutely. Bring it up. Verse 3. Bring this up. Bring it up. My angel is with you. What the Lord said? My angel is with you. What the Lord said? For my angel is with you. Right, read. And I and I myself came for your soul. And the Lord cared for the souls of the righteous. Right? And he keeps his angels round about. Right? So if you're a righteous man, keep the commandments, right? Praise the Lord. Oh! 
the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 8 and verse 5. Whoso keepeth the commandment shall feel no evil thing. We're gonna feel evil. Shall feel no evil thing. The Lord said we're gonna get peace if we keep the commandment, bro. No evil things shall come upon us if we keep the commandment. Right. Bring this up. Romans chapter 9, verse 4. And that's only if you keep it in commandments. Right, bring it up. Who are Israelites? Who are who? Who are Israelites? Right, bring to whom can it be adopted? And the glory, and the covenants, and the giving of the law, right. and the service of God, and the what? And the service of God, right, read. and the promises. Who are the, who are the fathers? Who are the fathers? And of whom, as he sang that flesh, Christ came, right? Who is of all God blessed forever. Amen. Right, read. Not as though the word of God has taken it none of effect. Right, because, hey, if you are this way, right, you get all that stuff. You get the service of God, the adoption, right, the giving of the law. Right, you get all of that, the promises. But what? Read verse 6. For they are not all Israel. Which are of Israel. Right. Hey, not all Israel is of Israel. We got the two thirds that we gotta worry about too. They not getting heavy, heavenly protection. Uh -uh. Right? They not getting that angels account. Uh -uh. Why would the angels kind of be, you know, they in the world you got to get my guardian angel saved me? Hey no, they did it. You understand? And that's Satan. Satan kind of gave you more life to uh, you know continue in wickedness. Right? And that's that's a bad lot. Because once you get in the head of the Lord, it ain't nothing you can do. Right? And not all Israel is of Israel. Right? Bring this up. Psalms, uh... Psalms 33. No, Revelation 7 and 9. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 7, verse 9. Bring it up. After this, I beheld, and lo, a great multitude. Read all the way to 14 and 2. Revelation 7 and 9, after this I beheld and lo, a great multitude, right. which no man could number, right. of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne. Right, talking about the Israelites that are scattered abroad, right, not the Hebrew, right, bring it up. And before the Lamb, clothed with the white robes, right. and palms in their hands, and cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God. Salvation to who? Salvation, salvation to our God. Right, that's how you get salvation. Right, keeping the commandments. Having that white robe when the Lord come back. Right, that's when you're going to get salvation. Right? You know? Not too white when you stop doing this. So, you know? We sit before the throne and unto the Lamb. And all the angels stood around above the throne. And above the elders and the four beasts. And fell before the throne on their faces. And worshiped God, saying, Amen. Blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto our God forever and ever. Amen. And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are these which are arrayed in white robes? And whence came they? And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said to me, These are they which come out of great tribulation. Which what? Which come out of great tribulation. That's what we got to go through, man. Great tribulation to get the king. Right. But we're going to be saved from that great tribulation if we got the faith of the Lord. We're going to be saved if we keep the, the works of the Lord. Doing the will of the Lord. Right, keep, keep reading. And have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Right, we got to make our robes white in the blood of the Lamb. Right, bring it up. That's it. Right, and we want to be all that innumerable uh, ones of two, man. Right, with the white robes on with no stains on right? And we gotta keep the commandments to get there. Right? Brothers want crowns on their head. Right? Right? right. Brothers yeah, want the right. king. Brothers right. want these damn heathen that slaves. Right. Right. We want, we want to kind of somebody fanning us with the damn leaves and feeding us grapes. I need right. that. Our feet, bro. I need that. And the brothers say, I need it. Hey. That's right. That's the spirit. That's right. We want, we want this boy right here. Hey, boy, we gonna get you too. Right? You gonna be a slave, boy. You see, you hear that, Sean? That's right. right. And you too. Hey, we want these heathen under our foot, man. That's right. right. We want our knee on their neck. That's right. right. And they think we're playing with kind of talk. We're joking. They think we're joking with a comedic special. It's like, hey, we got the camera on. It's going to Netflix. It's Kevin Hart special, and then it's Hart special. That's not, hey, that's not how it's going to be. This is not a joke. 
This is not a joke. Y'all are really going into slavery if y'all are here. That's what the Bible said. That's what the Bible said. The book of 2 Benjamin, chapter 10 and verse 38. When this was done, they praised the Lord with songs and thanksgiving. I want to get all glory, honor, and thanks to Yahweh by some of my second life, y'all saw. Right? Who have done what? Who have done so great things? Israel. Uh, for Israel! For Israel! For Israel! Uh, for Moab! For, for Israel! Israel. Right? Hey, hey, the Lord said he's going to do great things for oh. Israel. Did you know that? Who is Israel? Who is Israel, sister? I need to know y'all answer. Wow! What? You said you got to get a hand? Throw the weed out, sister. Throw it away. Go down to the streets. <laughs> <laughs> right, who have done some great things for who? <laughs> who have done some great things for Israel and given them the victory. Now we're going to lose. And given them the victory. And take another hill. And, and given them the victory. And hey, we're going to get the victory over this damn heathen. Damn, damn Christmas sweater, man. We're going to take them presents and we're going to throw them in the damn bonfire. That's right. Right? That's and they're right. going to burn and then we're going to throw their ass in the bonfire. Right. Right? Bring this out, Ken. Chapter 1, verse 14. The great day of the Lord is near. What the Bible say? The great day of the Lord is near. Right? Read. It is near. It hastens right. Lord, thank you too long. It hastens right. It ain't never come. It hastens right. It's Terry. It hastens right. I mean, the great day of the Lord is near. Right? It is hastening right. It's not going to take long. And when it comes, it's here. Right? That's right. Hey, death to America. Death to America. And that's coming soon. I'm going to make that a movie. Hey, movie. I'm going to make a trailer. Death to America coming soon. Right? It's going to happen. See that? <laughs> the title at the top say, Doom to Nation. Right? That's crazy, man. All right, bring it up. That's the spirit. It is near and haste to drink. Right. Even the voice of the day of the Lord. What? The mighty man shall the cry there and bitter. The what? The, the mighty, mighty man shall cry there and bitter. The what? The, the mighty man shall cry there and bitter. All the mighty men of these nations are going to be crying when the Lord come back. Right? And with that, I want to get all glory and honor to you. How about I sum up my shit? I'm going to like y'all suffer. Hey, death to America! 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 Come y'all strong in the air! Hey, y'all got a minute for the mic? You said it, brother. Come here, brother. You got to come here. You got to come here, brother. 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 You got to come here, br